for the last tune-up before HS Atlanta, which is about a month to the day from, from this very moment. Uh, you're going to have, obviously, your scrims. You're going to have your VOD review. You're going to have your strategizing sessions as a team. But this is really one of the last great days of practice that you can put together. It's very difficult, Garrett, to replicate a tournament feel, even online, in an HS online series, right? Which it is. This is a tournament. We're playing for points. Uh, but it's especially so going from scrims to a tournament where there's so much more to play for, especially as it relates to points and confidence going into land. You might play for some intel. You might play for the opening break strategies in a scrim, but uh, I don't see that in online NA Open Series. You're playing here for the win, and this is your last chance to earn it here if you're SSG, at least in the winner side of the bracket, which is, let's be honest, after their win at Arlington, where we thought they'd be for at least a couple of events, it's just she's seemingly slipping before our very eyes. Wow, they played a firm process there. They, they took back pipes control and they said, we're going to win this hill from back pipes, eventually winning out their slaves and getting to that hill. The problem arises is that they had no one towards white. And once Legend got to top white, it allowed him to, to have a player that distracts the players in hill and allow the rest of space station to swarm in from both sides. They break the hill relatively easy. And this is the difference, right? Look how Legend is pushing into white, even though they have this hill, because they know how important it is to make sure no one at white can shoot into that player at hill they break through they get the first capture and while wow. stellar's winning the rotation as well this has been fantastic setups from space station early on yeah the eye test now is mimicking what i saw in round one of game number one where ssg are able to get continuous seconds of obj 20 30 sometimes even before optic is able even to get in there and contest it but off the early reset and rotation on the hill number two it's optic with just a few more points in SSG, but no, they're gonna go two down, all four up for SSG, and SSG are not only gonna take hill number one, but the lead on hill number two and that rotation. So when we talk about OBJ efficiency, Garrett, I think finding ways to earn that rotation despite previously scoring is a great example of that. And SSG are showing us that here. They do go three down, so Optic Gaming now have a chance to take control of the backside of C. Dead Zone needs to take this cleanly, but he trades out, and that's a huge difference I noticed in round one, game one as well. SSG, when they did have three down, the fourth player was always able to trade out. There it was bound. <laughs> Stay patient. Hey, let's go. The, yeah. the, the, you like the, the YYs? I, I like it when you're just waiting. You're like, ah, uh, hopefully you didn't see me. I'm just going to wait this one out, wait for my teammate to get damaged. But this was impressive by Optic because uh, a Space Station had the hill. They had a control that they needed. What did Optic do? They didn't push. They said, hey, I think they're going to overheat. They're going to try to like try to do too much. Space Station, they took a gander outside of their safe protective uh, shell in that inside of the map, right? And well, what happens? Optic immediately lays the players that went out. They're able to get a couple kills, and they're able to get that control of the hill once again. Space Station broke through, but Optic Gaming right now, you're just one break away. And just organize yourself, get yourself in multiple lanes, and collapse at once. You break the hill, you win this hill. Ah, uh, interesting to note, Optic was set up very defensively, defensively postured in the previous 20 seconds. Despite that, SSG were able to break through. You almost wonder Optic with a few seconds needed left. SSG only had a few seconds, right? Do you sort of start to bait them into the hill and take them all four down like we've seen uh, uh, from the likes of the most objectively efficient squads here in Halo? I think that was what Optic's call was there from the coach lunchbox. They just weren't able to execute on it. And SSG are about to steal this. Look at this, Optic Gaming needs just one more foot in the hill. And Trippy gets it, if not for a little bit more sweat and stress than I think was needed there for Optic. Well, Optic was just decided to be annoying to, to Space Station there. All three, there's three players of Space Station that were basically playing that backside of the hill. How do you deal with that, right? It's called sending a Congo line of players to go Triple deal with it kill. one in at a time, right? You're just eventually going to push one out. You just keep replacing that next player. Make it frustrating for Space Station to fight out of. And eventually Optic Gaming was able to get that couple seconds they needed. Lucid lining up his next victim with that camo. Now looking to, it looks like, push in through the backside of gold. He's got Trippy there, so doesn't need to clear that. Just needs to maintain his positioning. Now it's bound. Dead to rights on the batteries. He'll go down easily, and Lucid will even more easily grab this next shock rifle. Hasn't really had a chance to find much value out of the camo, but hey, all's well that ends well. Three go down for SSG, and Lucid's got the shock to work with. He'll take that if you're optic. And right now, the concern for Optic is finding the player that traveled into pipes, and they're able to do that. And Nade takes down Eco. Now they know that the rest of the push is going to come from the left side of the map, but a missed shot might 
be devastating because look what happens when Stellar gets into A. The next spawner immediately spawns under him, giving them access to this hill that they did not expect to have. Huge plays by Stellar, but it might not be enough. That You can see Aubrey, they're gonna have to focus on breaking this back A and it's gonna start with formal, but Valen hits the better shot. And it looks like Space Station could just keep stabilizing this A spot. This is crazy how long they stayed alive over here. He's still alive. He took the hill. Formal now, the only player alive for Optic. And I imagine he'll try to hold the line. But he goes down, bound. There's a huge double kill there at the top gold location of the map. And SSG are going to regain the lead on a deadlocked 1-1 one, one tie. 2.42 left on the clock. Still plenty of time left here on recharge as Legend lines up his sights. And here's where Optic has to decide, do we want to GG go next or make our move? You don't have the time to wait. You got to make it now as they do start to push in through as two go down. Legend in the hill with the shock and he annihilates Formal's face. Yeah, he makes that vertical reposition of his reticle look so easy, right? What does Formal do the first second he sees him? He crouches down, tries to make that headshot a little bit harder for Legend. What do we see Legend do? Just instantly move his stick down and hit the headshot anyway. Uh, you know, great execution from Formal. Just a better play by Legend with the shock rifle. And Optic Gaming not going to be able to find that hill. Space Station up to uh, up to one and a camouflage to work with. Love Bounce activation of the camo there. He activates it at the exact same time that he clambers up to the top C platform. That it's more of a visual cue than anything, but I don't know. I like the quickness of uh, getting that OS or camo proc in my suit, as we saw that there from Bound. Find some efficiency during the early hill time. And this is looking just like uh, the second hill in terms of what the scoreboard was and what the situation was. A little bit of a deja vu scenario. And yeah, here it is, Garrett. SSG with their setup here at the back of C. We know that this is what they like, but look at this. Despite SSG being set up at the back of C, Optic have hill time, but that's Bulls Gold. Three go down, dead on the last player alive. Could earn some A spawns here for Optic. He does. And, um... And it's just gonna have to wait for the crew to push on through, and but Dead Zone goes down. Dead Zone was the one to hold the line, but he drops it instead, and now SSG are primed to take another one. Oh, <laughs> Ledger was able to do all that damage. I thought for sure he was dead to rights, but Eco comes in to help solidify at glass. He's able to get away. And what I love is that they both retreat at the same time. They're gonna keep trying to play this process together. Trippy smart to, to keep that angle into a one-on-one -on -one fight, and while well, he might be able to take down both these players on this engagement, Great plays by by SSG to back down. A better play by Trippy. I, that's phenomenal work from him to get through and find kills on both those players. It might just be enough for Optic to break into this back spawn. I think the main question I had going into game number three, Garrett, was where is the pace of SSG? Where's that almost hair on fire pace that SSG has really carried the torch on? No pun intended, I guess. And look at Bound carrying that torch. 27 and 9. Un friggin' believable. He's got double everybody in the lobby. Lobby, he's practically tripling up anybody else on his team. And you want to get the pace going again for SSG? Get bound going. And that's exactly what they've done. Optic, though, once again, like we saw in that game number one, scrappy as hell. And that keeps them in the mix despite what looks like the, ga uh, the, uh, the game of the tournament so far from bound. Bound, bound's in listening mode. You know, like right now, I don't think he's common too much for his team. Right now, he's listening to, neighbor, to Eco H2, and Legend. He's like, he says, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he's, he's listening. He's following up on damage. And he's <laughs> playing fast, right? And, and it, it's working so well for him. Lo notice how often he's playing these middle positions as well, oh, where he has access to so much of the map. And he's quick to go back to help teammates. He's always trying to be a player that can follow up on damage, but also be offensive when needed. Uh, this has been incredible work from him, and it obviously it feels like he's naturally progressing into gunfights. It, it just makes the game feel so much easier for him. And well, triple positive to start this game. Like, you can't really ask for much more, but SSG, they might need to ask for a little bit more because Optic Gaming, they're just moments away from tying this game up and going into a sudden death situation. Oh. Oh, uh oh, and this is looking more, I guess, like game one in the uh, the the bad sense for SSG, where they outslayed Optic Gaming and still lost that oddball. Don't let it happen here on a King of the Hill. And I guess if there's any solace, it's that you have your directive marching orders if you're Elamite on what to work on going into HS Atlanta. But right now, the two things: pace of play and the objective efficiency have not been what we've been used to seeing 
from SSG. Despite that, we have a 2-2 tie. Winner bracket tournament lives on the line here for SSG in dead zone. Rips the face of his former teammate. Now continues on with plenty of shock left to work with. Oh, a couple of C spawns there for SSG. So dead zone might have a chance to line up one or two, but no, formal takes down Stellar. And now legend, I mean, this is gonna be tough. You got formal and dead zone on a bait and switch. Bound coming in to help. Work a bait and switch of his own, but all the while, this is great for Optic because they're milking the objective efficiency once again. Yeah, it's been just fantastic work from Hoptic because they, they were able to get so much time without having to really worry about a contest. They still have camouflage to work with. Even as SSG pushes down, you, you know that Optic just have the better position. They eventually fill in. They're going to be able to get themselves back into this hill while four are down. This means some easy time for them once again. And Space Station, you have one or two good pushes left in you. You, you just can't get trapped back here once again. And for one knowing what's important, right? Anchoring out the spawn and while well, he just found Woo! two easy kills for Double himself kill. he'll make it three bound you better not try oh <laughs> man that is someone that's feeling himself bound did not back down whatsoever from that challenge i think we saw a little bit of what i like to call aiming too hard there from formal he, yeah he had the reticle seemingly stuck to the face of bound but just just couldn't pull it couldn't pull the trigger and that keeps ssg alive and in it one down now two for optic all four up for ssg love to see them earn that objective efficiency time like we saw in game number one round number one and here we see it a couple seconds after the fact as legend looks to clean up on dead zone does just that on the sneaky jump up to see legend eyeing the push through the needles all the while optic are earning more time two more go down for ssg and that might just do it this could be a sweep here to start the day optic over ssg needing just a few more slays and they're gonna get it but one lags out oh my god they don't need their fourth they win the series with a sweep Despite, well, who was it? Uh, Trippy lagging out. Oh, thank That's God crazy. we don't have to go to a reset, Garrett, because I one of my least favorite things in Halo. I like to see a game conclude, and what better way to conclude it? You didn't even need Trippy. What?